I did not grab her by the Hey you guys, so as most of you know, this past Wednesday, President Donald Trump repealed protections for transgender students in schools. And basically these protections allowed students to use the bathroom of the gender they identified with. So I thought I would take this opportunity to talk about my experience using the bathroom with the opposite sex. And there have actually been two of them. So the first time was when I was 18 years old um, and I was involved with a group that volunteered a lot with LGBT youth. And there was this big conference that happens every year called Creating Change and it was in Baltimore that year. And they had gender neutral bathrooms. And no, I'm not talking about the single person bathrooms. They had both the men's and the women's bathrooms with a sign on them saying this is a gender neutral bathroom. So I picked one and it happened to be the men's. I only know that because there were the urinals there. And random thought, I typically use a urinal if it's available. I don't know, it's so much easier as a man to use one. So I went to use the urinal and I did notice that some women were walking in and out of the bathroom. And by the way, these weren't all trans women. Uh, a lot of these were just regular women wearing dresses, going to the stall and doing their woman stuff. And I'm not gonna lie, it was a little bit weird at first, but I think that's probably just because we're just told as a society that that's how it's supposed to be. But it's something that obviously once you did it a couple times, you realize, oh wait, it's not that weird at all. There was actually another instance where I used the bathroom with someone who was born female. And this was during about my junior year of college. It was an on-campus bathroom. And this bathroom set up where there's like a line of urinals on the wall and there's a couple stalls back behind it. So I walked in the bathroom and I went to the urinal. Like I said, that's just where I typically go. And I noticed this person standing at the urinal, um, obviously not like right beside me or anything, but I did know them and I did know that they were trans. And I could tell they seemed like really nervous to be there. So I tried to obviously not stare at anything, not that I'd be doing that at the urinal anyways, but still. Although it did make me kind of curious what they were doing at the urinal unless they had one of those like you know this little camping thing that people put between their legs so they can stand up and pee while they're camping i don't know but that's none of my business <laughs> but yeah nothing weird happened and i know some people would think the situation would be a bit different if it was a women's restroom and a trans woman came in but honestly it really isn't especially when you're dealing with elementary school students they're not there to check out your daughter or whatever they're there because that's where they feel comfortable it's totally wrong to try to tell them that no you need to go to this other bathroom where you may be bullied you may be picked on and people People say, oh, well, a guy will just dress as a girl and try to go in the girl's bathroom at schools. I'm thinking back from my own experience in elementary and middle school, and I don't think any guy would ever go through the hardships that trans people have just to get a sneak peek in the women's restroom. And you would know what kids are there to cause trouble anyways, I would imagine, because these would probably be troublemakers anyway, so this probably wouldn't be people's first offense. That's just not likely. But I want to know what you guys think. Do you think this was an appropriate move by the Trump administration? Do you think that trans people should not be allowed in bathrooms. Let me know. I'd love to talk about it. I love open discussions. And yeah, I'll see you guys next video. Bye.